Welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. We're here in Southern Utah in some beautiful weather off of Sheep Ridge Road in Laverkin or Virgin, Utah. I'm here with two couples who are friends of mine who each just bought their first RV. Kind of feel like the odd man out in an R-Pod rally right now. But stick around, we'll show you this area on this episode of Grand Adventure. We almost considered entitling this episode, Not Gooseberry Mesa. Finding our preferred location on Gooseberry already full with Easter weekend campers, we instead once again settled into a spot along Sheep Ridge Road, the campsite of our episode 11 from Zion National Park. This is dispersed camping on BLM land with a 14 day stay limit and sweeping views of both Zion and Hurricane Mesa. Sheep Ridge Road is a popular camping area thanks to its proximity to Zion, but we nevertheless found a spot with room for all three of our rigs on the Friday night of a spring holiday weekend with high temperatures at 80 degrees. I think this is a pretty nice site. I mean, the the views are outstanding. You know, oh, yes, looking at the uh, the mesas and the view of Zion in the in the background there, it's it's quite quite nice. And it was great that we had a spot where that was large enough, uh, large enough to fit all three of us here, yeah. all three of our vehicles. And we really don't have any close neighbors, do we? No, we don't. They're all they're all pretty pretty people are pretty spread out. Yep, and I had some room to fly my uh, RC airplane this That's morning. That's right. That's right. That was pretty cool. It was wa neat watching you do those aerobatics. We had our own little air show out here, didn't we? Yeah. Grand Adventurers first met Colin and Abby back in February, looking for their first RV. They now own a 2018 R-Pod 179 Hood River Edition. All right, you folks may remember Colin and Abby from episode 22 at the Utah RV Show. You guys were shopping for some alternatives at the time making sure that there were no alternatives that you wanted more than this. Um, they've now made their purchase and this is uh, their first trip out with it. Tell me how your experience has been so far. Yeah, so far so good. In fact, uh, uh, despite being very small but light enough to tow, mm -hmm. it's got everything we need. Excellent. So, yep. How are Lo you liking it? Loving it. Good. This is like my happy place. Cool. I'm really, really loving it. Do you envision yourselves using it quite a bit? I think so. I think it's a matter of making the time. It's always planning ahead yeah. and get, making the time. It's always that's the challenge. But the downside of not living in Utah, right, is uh, not having not as many having accessible as much opportunity. Sure. Right. Just so we can explain, uh, Colin and Abby, they uh, their full-time residence is in Vermont. Uh, they spend their entire winter here in Utah, 
uh, and then head back in May and spend summers in a beautiful yeah, place yeah. like Vermont. Right. So that's kind of right. The, that's, those are two wonderful but, worlds to be in. But less this. Right. No, this, no, this <laughs> less first, this. Right. The dispersed camping here is much easier than it is in right. the. Right. True. The there aren't as many boondocking. In fact, there are very few boondocking opportunities right. Right. back there. Right. Uh, but you're about to take this thing across the country with you. That's right. <laughs> That's going to be an adventure. Pretty impressive. That's yeah. uh, for a second trip, trip number two. Right. Uh, yes. 2,500 miles. Taking this thing across the country. Yeah. Well, we certainly wish you uh, happy trails and safe travels. Yes. Thank you. It's our, our right. moving bedroom. Right. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Your hotel room on wheels, right? That's yes. Exactly right. <laughs> exactly. Ironically, only about a month earlier, Arnie and Kay themselves bought an identical R-Pod. Uh, so far, I'm very pleased uh, with it. Um, this is our first, our first vehicle for camping. Um, you know, let's say civilized camping. <laughs> We're used to, uh, you know, backcountry uh, backpacking and not having any kind of facilities at all, or sleeping in the back of the truck. So this is kind of, uh, kind of luxury having a, a, a bed to sleep in and. Uh, and inside and, wa and running water and things like that. It's, it's quite nice and very pleased. It, it, uh, it towed really well with our Tacoma. This was your maiden trip, right? Yeah, this was the maiden trip. So it was a pretty easy, easy uh, trip down and it, no, no uh, misbehaviors at all. Or good. It was good. Good. There's a ton to enjoy in the area. Kay went mountain biking right from camp on the Gem Trail, one of the numerous stretches of single track one will find by searching trailforks.com for rides near Virgin, Utah. Of course, Zion National Park is right down the road with its famed hiking and sightseeing. We also did our best to wear the dogs out, somewhat successfully, and in the process helped both Zoe and Maggie to shed their winter tent. Famous wiener. You're almost Crusoe. <laughs> Camping weenie. One of our favorite spots in the area is Kolob Terrace. Not to be confused with the Kolob Canyon unit of Zion National Park further to the north, the Kolob Terrace Road repeatedly passes in and out of the western edge of the park. It's what I'd hoped for in our November visit to Zion. It has all the scenery with none of the crowds. There are numerous hiking trailheads along Kolob Terrace, the parking lots for which were mostly empty during our Saturday drive, and no entry fee is required to be You'll also find stunning views of Zion and Kolob Terrace and an entirely unexpected aerospace research site atop Hurricane Mesa immediately to the north of Sheep Bridge Road. that's going to do it for this episode of Grand Adventure. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about visiting this area, hit me up down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to uh, answer your questions and help you out in any way that I can. Uh, if you want to see more from Grand Adventure, we'd love to have you along as one of our Grand Adventurers. Please subscribe right here on the screen by clicking that logo and we'll catch you next time.
And until that next time, remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon.